John Taylor, a successful attorney, who is about to land a significant case, while his wife Laura, travels the nation looking for clients of her own. They both want a child, but despite going through several miscarriages, they haven't been able to conceive. They believe that Anna Walsh, a young lady who offers to be their surrogate, is the answer to their prayers. Laura likes what she sees from Anna, and she chooses her. After getting to know Anna, John and Laura found her to be pleasant and charming. For dinner one evening, the Taylors welcome Anna and her lover Mike. Mike has a soft and respectful conversation with them initially, but when John and Mike go outside after dinner, John notices his weird behavior and gets suspicious. Anna goes through the process to become pregnant the next morning. Three home pregnancy tests later, Laura phones John to inform him that Anna is expecting their child. Since Mike neglected to take her, Anna goes to John's workplace so he may take her to her doctor's appointment. Mike appears to be upset to see them together, when John later takes Anna home. The Taylors get a traumatic phone call later at night. To locate the cops, John walks by Mike's home. Blood is on Anna's face as she sits in the car. Mike hit her, and he is currently in custody. John assures Anna that she may stay with him and Laura, despite her concern that she has nowhere else to go. Mike loses it and tries to follow Anna and John as she flee with him, but the police drag him away. After dropping Anna at home, John visits Mike in his detention facility cell. He hands a restraining order and other papers, that would make it illegal for Mike to go anywhere near Anna, but John claims they haven't been filed yet and won't be if Mike is able to avoid her. Although Mike agrees to it, it's clear from the smarmy shit-eating expression on his face, that he has other ideas. Laura and John try their hardest to make Anna feel at home. She studies self-help books, and attends yoga lessons with Laura to take charge of her life. Anna begins to feel too at ease around John though. She says that having his child inside of her is like having him inside of her. She asks him to touch her stomach, so that he can supposedly feel how the kid feels at this point, but that is obviously not the case. Mike, who has secured bail, meets with Anna in private. In order for the tailors to continue paying Anna to stay, he wants her to tell them a falsehood, and claim she wants to terminate her pregnancy. She doesn't want to carry out the plan because they are kind to her, but Mike threatens her if she doesn't consent, especially because he is aware of her crush for John. John claims to have heard something on the roof one evening. He investigates by climbing a ladder in the pouring rain, but all he finds is Anna undressed in her chamber. She notices that he is ogling her naked body. Anna makes increasingly overt approaches when Laura is away on a business trip. While at work, Anna begins to send John videos, in which she removes her shirt to display the word baby, painted on her stomach. Then, John orders Anna to stop giving him these films, but she merely plays games with him. John returns home to confront Anna and let her know that she is mistaken, and that Laura is his true love. Laura arrives early at home and almost sees Anna in underwear, but Anna hastily gets dressed, making Laura unaware. Later, Mike visits the Taylor residence, and slaps Anna for disobeying his instructions. Later that night, Anna goes to Mike's home and stabs him several times, before throwing his body into the basement, where he bleeds to death. By attempting to continuously call and seduce John in his workplace, Anna makes things worse. When he takes her back home in rage, Anna decides that John has had enough of her garbage and that she is leaving with the child. John then opens the door and tells her to leave, since Laura would be devastated to learn what had been going on, she and John will be able to pick up the pieces and move on whereas Anna will be left alone and broke with a child that isn't really hers. To find out more information on Anna and Mike, John calls his acquaintance Roland White. When John's superiors admit they checked his email and saw the movies Anna sent him, he finds himself in hot trouble at work. John loses the case to his adversary, Todd Becker, after they find out that Anna is a patient of the same corporation that John's company is suing. Roland subsequently reveals to John that Mike was discharged from the Marine Corps for committing a violent crime, and that Anna's real last name is DeVost, rather than Walsh. She resided with foster parents up until the point at which she used a pair of scissors to murder her foster father, for abusing her sexually. Since Anna changed her identity, the surrogacy agency has never run this over. Anna develops an unhealthy closeness to John over the coming months, to the point that she kisses John, and candidly states that he makes her entire body react. John tries to calm Anna down as she makes another attempt to seduce him, especially since she's eyeing a pair of scissors on the table. John tricks her by engaging her in a romantic conversation. Anna informs John that she loves him, but he merely says, I know. However, Anna storms out and starts shouting around the streets. 
As Laura and the police arrive to investigate the commotion, Anna alleges that he has been sleeping with her and controlling her, in order to frame him in front of the cops and Laura. When she leaves, Laura is upset with John. He argues that he has had no interaction with Anna. To discuss Anna, John and Laura meet with their attorney, Peter K. Since Anna would be giving birth and the child would be hers until she cedes that right to the tailors, according to Peter, the situation would not qualify as an abduction. Laura, who has no other option, determines that John must do anything he can to persuade Anna to let them to have the baby, even if it necessitates doing things that neither of them want to consider. John brings Anna to a lake house that he and Laura own. After convincing Anna that he has left Laura and wants to be with her, he starts to kiss her passionately. After some while, John meets Laura back at his house in complete regret. She pardons him. Anna observes them from outside, before running back to her car to panic. She then comes up with an idea. Anna calls John and informs him that she is about to give birth at the hospital. Anna never checked in when John and Roland arrived at the hospital. That is because she's stalking Laura at home. When Laura hears a disturbance upstairs, she goes to investigate and finds the nursery in disarray, with the family cat torn and wounded inside the cot. Anna rushes outside and kicks Laura several times after hitting her with a lamp. Meanwhile, John and Roland visit Mike's home, and discover his decomposing body in the basement. They hastily return to the house. Then, Anna's water breaks, prompting Laura to dial 911. Before the doctors can get there, Anna knocks Laura out. During Laura's hospital wake-up, John is seated by her bedside. Roland reveals to them that Anna visited a different hospital, gave birth to a healthy boy, and then left after some time. John surmises that she must have returned to the lake house, in order to be near and to protect the infant. Laura and John arrive at the lake house via car. For her safety, John insists that Laura remain in the vehicle. Anna is dozing in bed with the infant as he enters the home. John places him in a safety seat after gently picking him up. Anna rushes outside and attacks John. The two get into a confrontation in the kitchen, before John knocks Anna into a glass gun cabinet. John transports the infant to his car outside. He and Laura are about to depart, when Anna exits the house brandishing a firearm. She attempts to shoot the pair with buckshot but fails. Laura decides, I'm so sick of this bitch, and she slams on the brakes, murdering Anna by ramming her head on with the car. Laura holds the infant in her arms, as she gets out of bed the following morning. The pair hears approaching police sirens. While he waits for the police, John reassures Laura that everything will be alright.